All right, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, thanks to Zach. Oh, I, I, I got the wrong button up, but I don't have the applause button up right now. <laughs> I got this one. That's not the applause button. <laughs> thanks to Zachary, we are going to reinstitute an old, a traditional. This is this goes back to the glass case of emotion. When we were in the the OG glass case of emotion studios, those of you who know know, and those of you who had actually visited the studio, you should count yourselves as fortunate. You are amongst the select few that got to actually witness the miracle that was the glass case of emotion studio. We came up with this little thing to point out weakness when we saw weakness, spineless, pathetic, cowardly weakness. And we called it the vagination report. And we actually came up with a trophy. If you guys remember that, you guys who've been with us remember the vagination trophy. Well, we don't have the same music, but we have some music and Zach's going to bump us in. So this is, it's called tea time. <laughs> Isn't it right? Is that right, Zach? It's called believe, tea time. I believe that is the name of the song. Okay. It's called Tea Time, and this is the, at least for the moment, Vagination Report update theme. Hopefully that'll keep us out of trouble with um, Tiny Tim's estate. We get Tiny Tim's estate off our back. <laughs> All right, we got a follow up to last week's story about John Zena. Now that's Zena X I N A. He is the favorite new pet of Winnie the Pooh, the communist dictator of China. Uh, you might recall that John Zena uh, last week bent down and groveled at the feet of his Chinese slave masters like a just spineless, pathetic puke bag. Well, Stephen Crowder. Louder with Crowder has uh, he's taken to the page and he uh, he's got a follow up report about the the slavish, subservient, just puke bag John Cena. Uh, take it away, Jared. You got the story open? Yeah, it says John Cena's China pandering backfires F9 tanks in movie theaters. This is June 1st, 2021. The only thing worse than bending over and spreading cheeks for communist China bending over, spreading cheeks, and not getting paid for it. <laughs> John Cena was forced last week to beg for China's forgiveness. He was doing a promo for F9 and called Taiwan a country. How Taiwan dare he? is a country. You just can't say that out loud. Cena was forced to grovel and show his... <laughs> out. This is, this is the words of Crowder. Yeah, this is, this is I'm reading Crowder's story. Cena was forced to grovel and show how tiny his testicles were because if he didn't, the movie franchise would lose money. So he did. And the movie franchise allegedly lost money anyway. <laughs> Chinese film goers have hit the brakes on Justin Lin's F9. The universal tent pole downshifted 85%. In the in its second weekend, earning just twenty point eight million compared to its one hundred thirty six million roaring opening weekend. Uh, that's far weaker than the preceding franchise mainstays, Furious Seven, and The Fate of the Furious, which topped out at three hundred ninety point nine million in twenty fifteen and three hundred and ninety two point eight million in twenty seventeen, respectively. Chinese ticketing app Mayan. Rick uh, currently projects F9 to finish at 211.9 million. I like how they put that in like light gray lettering. So it's super hard to read <laughs> Just for you. It says, sure. 219, 211.9 million is a crap ton of money, but Hollywood blockbusters are based on expectations. They expect to make more money than the last movies, not almost 50% less. Plus, that $211 million doesn't factor in exorbitant actor salaries, marketing, the cost of making a movie, and uh, where cars ignore all laws of gravity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the production budget on those movies is insane. Oh, yeah, it's, it's $100 million plus. 
it's hard to tell for sure if Cena's international incident is what costs the studio all this money. The article says reviews were pretty bad as well. Maybe the Chinese all woke up one day and realized that Fast and Furious franchise is the Wuhan Institute of Movie Franchises. Just saying, <laughs> there could be a number of factors. <laughs> It could only be ironic that after Cena upset the CCP, the box office fell by 85%. I doubt it is, though. And that makes Cena's pathetic video all the more embarrassing. Yep. Look for fashionable ways to support Louder with Crowder. Yeah. Go to CrowderStop.com. <laughs>